it seems very difficult for me to watch my thoughts without making judgment of them. Could you please suggest some helpful hints regarding this? Hmm. Happy Father's Day. You are a beautiful Papa. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you, my child. Hmm. Watching the thought is different and analyzing the thought is different. When you say you are judging them, you are not watching, you are analyzing. A judge in the court is not a witness. Huh? Isn't it so? Let's know a little bit of the legal terms. A judge is analyzing the case and judging the case. Who is right, who is wrong. But a witness is the one who just witnesses. He just says what he witnessed. He didn't take part in the problem. But he was just a witness. So the purpose of witness is just to watch. You don't even say it's good or bad. Like the person in the cinema theatre. You just watch the movie. You don't judge it. Many people go to watch the movie and they forget the movie, they start judging. Ah, look at that cameraman, he made a mistake there, that actor. They are kind of uh, critics. They, be, they go there as critics. I don't object to that. But when you go as a critic, you just don't enjoy the picture. You can't enjoy the picture, no. The minute you find a criticism on one actor, your mind thinks on that and you miss many other beautiful fine points which you would be appreciating. So a real witness means you just witness everything unaffected by that. Just enjoy both. When the hero comes and makes love, and uh, uh, talks nice things to the heroine, it's beautiful. When the villain comes and snatches her, it's also beautiful. Huh? Otherwise, there's no story. Huh? Huh? You will never go on to see a movie when only there is hero and heroine always sitting and talking, and oh, I love you, honey, you love me, honey. No, without a villain, there is no story at all. <laughs> It's not interesting, we say. <laughs> there must be a plot, <laughs> a tempo, <laughs> a climax. <laughs> Isn't it so? That's... But you will miss the important points if you get carried away by one actor or by the technology. <laughs> so you just become a witness unaffected by it, enjoy everything, everything. Whatever be the part, enjoy everything. Don't criticize. That is what is called watching the mind. You just sit and watch the mind. It's a movie theater. As I told you the other day, the mind has recorded so many nice things, good and bad impressions. You get divine visions, you get demonic visions. That's why when you sit in meditation, all of a sudden you see nice divine beings coming. Very soon you see horrible pictures, hmm? terrible things coming out. Don't get frightened of it. It's all the impressions that got in somewhere. Even without your knowing, your camera is exposed to all those things. And they were imprinted on that. So they are just rolling. Keep rolling. It's nice to watch. If only you come to that state of being a witness, you enjoy the life every minute. You don't get affected by anything. And you allow your own body and mind to do its own thing, what is necessary for what it is created. You be the witness. 
சாட்சித்துவம் சாட்சித்துவம் சாட்சி மீன்ஸ் விட்னஸ் அகம் சாட்சி ஐ ஆம் த விட்னஸ் When you say, I am the witness, I am not a party to either side. That itself is a beautiful form of meditation. Just sit. Start the camera. Let it roll. Enjoy. When you see awful pictures, awful thoughts coming, maybe sometimes terrible very bad things eh? as if you may even there i have heard people say all of us and i went there and he killed my mother cooked her and ate that in meditation <laughs> yes it's a horrible unbelievable eh? i don't know some of you might have come across such and just giving an example it's horrible you 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 would not have even thought of such things eh? but it just comes so much rubbish inside in dream what sort of things you get you become a snake you become a pig huh eh? huh which you don't want to <laughs> where did it come from all from your own subconscious mind millions and billions of ideas were recorded here already is a big storehouse because this mind is is a part of the cosmic mind know that so everything is here and we have passed through the soul has passed through all that i had this morning uh, somebody asked a question about reincarnation and uh, you got some answers ahead the soul passes through all these things it has lived everything in this world know that for certain you had been a plant you had been a thorny bush you had been a rose you had been a worm you had been a pig you had been a dog you had been a horse excuse me for saying this <laughs> i'm not uh, planning to insult you or anything no on the other hand i am happy to think that way i underwent all the classes i passed through all the classes now i am in the highest form writing my exam as a human being i'm talking everybody is like that you pass through pullagi poodagi puluvagi maramagi palvirgamagi paravayai pambai kallai peyai manidarai kanangalai i am giving a list given by a great saint by name manikya vasagar in his tiruvachagam one of the great saiva siddhanta saint lived before a few centuries he gives a list i pass through all these things and now by your grace i am in the human frame i know this is the only opportunity for me it is only in this you have given me a little freedom to get out of this cycle it's here you have given me intelligence the discriminating capacity to even think what is right and what is wrong what is to be done and what is not to be done nobody else thinks that way not even the divine beings i mean the devas you call it devas means the the one out of their own meritorious deeds go to a heaven and live there for a while but when they finish everything they have to come back is something like people who accumulate lot of money go for a vacation spend all that come back to work again <laughs> they can be there sitting always the same way the heaven is a vacation you just go there enjoy take sun bath everything <laughs> get yourself burnt <laughs> tanned that's why i call those places tannery skin tanning no 
Have you ever went and saw the skin tannery? Hmm? Where they tan the skin? Huh? On the beach. <laughs> you get tanned. But unfortunately, in the regular skin tannery, when you once you tan, it stays that way. <laughs> but here, when you go and get tanned, you come back here and you get canned again. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's really not a sensible thing <laughs> to do. <laughs> Just change the color of the skin a little. How many hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars you spend just to come back. And see the uh, kind of aversions. You white people go there to get tanned, to become brown and black, but they don't like brown, black. They say, oh. What is nonsense? They like black. They, they want their body, their skin to get colored. Huh? They spend a lot of money for that. But they don't like the color skin. How deep their vision is, not even one, mill, one millimeter depth. Because where does the white and black lie? Not even half a millimeter. Scratch both. What do you have inside? Red color. Below the white and black, you have red. We are common in red. Comrades in red. Isn't it? In red, we are comrades. It's not really. <laughs> now, the people who talk about black and white, they talk about just the skin. They're not even talking about people. Not even talking about the whole body. Their thinking is not even skin deep. Hmm? With that shallow thinking, how much of atrocities? Hmm? People should go a little beyond even the body and mind and then see the spirit. If you can't even penetrate the skin and go a little deeper to the heart, how are you going to reach the spirit? It's a shame to divide people in the name of skin color, in the name of size, height, weight. That is why we are really paying a big price. The world is simply getting tortured. It's our own mistake. In a way, we seem to have lost our sense. We really need to burn a lot of incense. Hmm? It's really sad to think that. Eh? How many great thinkers, they call some, themselves great thinkers, men of letters. Eh? But when they talk, they come down to the skin level. Eh? I feel like skinning them out. <laughs> so that they won't think of the skin. It's a shame. It's a shame. People should really transcend all these things. Language, dress, the shape, the size, the color, the place they live, country-wise we divide, color-wise we divide, language-wise we divide, even religion-wise we divide. If we keep on dividing like this, that is the end. More division means death, that's all. I am at least happy to see that groups here and there are beginning to think of these things and say, we don't want to divide and die, we want to come together. Right now, here, I see a multivarious mixer here, 
It's a beautiful bouquet. This is what we want to offer at the altar. Not just one color plant, one color flower. A nice beautiful bouquet of different colors. God created like that. God didn't want always everything same. Garden of Eden had all kinds of different flowers. Who created black then? The so-called people when they say, Oh, black I don't like. Who created the God in you, in whom you believe? Is it not? Then, then, then go and question that God. Hey, how can you create a black person? Huh? You say you trust in God, you don't believe in his own creation. What kind of trust do you have? If anybody says, I trust in God, then you should trust in the nature itself. Accept the nature as God's gift. Accept the varieties. And even to see some of the religious people talking about these things. Even in the name of religion, when you create divisions, I don't know what a great hell is waiting for those people then. They are creating a hell in this, in this beautiful earth. They are not talking about God. They are talking about Satan. So it's high time for us to forget all these differences. Think of the spiritual oneness. Accept the differences, accept the varieties. Variety is the spice of life, you see. Yes, we need varieties to enjoy. But we should remember that spiritual oneness, the unity in diversity. That is what is yoga. Coming together. When you all people go out, you must din these ideas into everybody's heart. Don't allow anybody to talk about the differences. First you forget in your own life. Never to think another person is different from you, he is your own self. Appearing in a different color, different level. Love him. Go and tell your friends. That is the only way, if we really want to survive on this surface of the earth, that is the only way. We have done enough damage. And we have to redo it. And every one of you has that responsibility. Know that for certain. Don't think, oh, I am not a prophet, I am not this, I am not that. What on earth I can do? I am a little puny thing, little. No, don't think that way. You are just putting yourself down. If you are that puny, undesirable, unwanted, God would not have created you and given you the food and uh, uh, earth and air and things like that. You are as equal as anybody in this world. Nothing that is unwanted is created and preserved still. If you are not wanted already, you will be boxed up immediately. You won't be even living. You will be well caged, boxed and put it separately. Okay, stay there until I call you again. Yeah. yeah. He knows how to store. The very fact that you are still living means that God has given you some work. You have a mission to fulfill. And you are doing it, whether knowingly or unknowingly, it doesn't matter. But all we say is, just know that you are wanted by God, you are doing His job, whatever it is so, and let God do that through you. Don't even take that responsibility on your shoulder or that credit on your shoulder. If something nice happens through you, don't just take the credit. Oh, I did it. Huh? How, do, how do you think of me? Huh? 
when something terrible happens oh that's god's will what can i do <laughs> see when something terrible happens you bring the poor god recognize his will huh? he is responsible for both you are responsible to recognize that and just allow him to do if only we brush our aside our ego then everything will be done properly you don't need to worry then you get to that neutral position get into that peaceful state 